Hi, my name is Kawan Prather, um, mostly known as KP. Uh, ex music executive, a DJ, a producer, a writer, ex-artist. Well, I guess I'm still an artist in some kind of way, yeah. And um, I started here at Patchwork as far as professional studios go. This is one of the first that, you know, that we found that we thought felt like home. Um, we had been working, obviously, out of Boston, which is now Stankonia, and as producers, the group I was in, PA, we had to start learning how to produce our, on our own, so we had to find a place to go do it. And we had just gotten a deal with DreamWorks, and we had a budget. So that was our first time being able to go somewhere and pay for a place that we wanted to be and record. And Patchwork was in a house at the time, so it kind of felt like the dungeon, but like, you know, in a way that it was a comfortable place where all the crew can come and, and hang and, and do music without the pressure. Um, and it was ran professional. You know, because we had studios at home and had been in studios where the speakers would work, but they, there was no ambiance and no feeling, and, and the people worked there with dicks. But Patchwork was kind of different because it had all the things that we liked. It was like cool, the people who worked there were like, it felt like they were of hip hop. So it felt like it was kind of set up for us. And, you know, and Bob Whitfield at the time, who was playing for the Falcons, that made it cool too. Like, you know, one of the Falcons owned the studio, so it felt super Atlanta. Um, and, and and we just got a lot of work done there. We we did some of the most kind of important records that come out of the South in, in that house and in this new studio that um, Patrick became. Um, from working on Outkast to T.I. to Usher, um, I mean, Pink. There's not an artist that I think I've ever dealt with that I didn't bring through Patchwork at some point. So I don't know. It's just kind of like one of those. It's one of those places. It's a, it's a it's a studio away from home studio. This is a place where you you know that. Well, I bring the artists that I work with here because it's professional. I know all the things I need are going to get taken care of. I know that at the end of the night, the the files are going to be stored properly. I know that I'm, I'll be able to find all my files at the end of a session. That that's that's important because, you know, people learn how to use Pro Tools and they learn how to produce on the computer, but they don't learn all the fundamental things that you may need after you've recorded a song. And you know, at Patchwork, the people have been trained to do this properly and fundamentally, so you don't have any fear of that part of the of the the negligent studio eras. Patchwork. First of all, it started at the right time. It, it, it was the studio that was born to the generation of new Atlanta music artists and producers. So all of the artists that were coming through were, well, a lot of really classic artists were coming through here. So if you think about 20 years ago, Outkast was recording here. So we were making classic records 20 years ago and they still, they're still here. So why wouldn't the place that we did them in be here? You know, and I think Atlanta's a good place where, it's a place where people are loyal, you know, in a way that if they find a, a place where they're comfortable, they will post. Like, comfort, it comes first when you're trying to make music. You gotta be in a place where you feel comfortable enough to be honest enough to say some of the shit that you say to make these records work. And, you know, Patrick has that, that feeling in it. Like, it's velvet. Like, like, come on. I guess the most interesting and the most um, important, at least in my career, the relationship that was garnered here was with Ti, uh, because at the at the time that I was in a, a group called Parental Advisory, one you know, Dungeon Family, first generation, we were producing our record, um, a record for DreamWorks, My Life Your Entertainment, and Jason, who worked the night desk at Patchwork um, had an artist that he had that him and Toomp were working on, DJ Toomp. And Jason played one of the guys in my group, Big Reese, that he played Big Reese a TI demo. And Reese called was like, yo, you need to get down here. Because at the time I was not just in our group, I was I also just started working as AR at LaFace, LaFace Records. So he's like, man, you should come check this kid out. And he was like, oh, you should come check this kid out. He's an asshole, you'll like him. And true enough, got down into the studio, met Tip. I didn't think he was an asshole. I thought he was extremely confident, and I thought that he was confident based on the level of skill that he had. So 
you know, we, we sat and talked for a minute, and then I was like, okay, well, go in there and get, see if you can get on this record. He went and jumped on this record we were working on, on the My Life Here Entertainment album, and he snapped. And two days later, I flew him out to LA with me to go to the Source Awards. He was on stage doing rehearsals for Watch for the Hook. Two days later, we got back to Atlanta, and he was signed to Ghetto Vision. So, Patchwork is like the nucleus of that whole story. It's like everything short of LA happened here.